So now, day 6, 2. Ben Canto, 6th chapter, text number 2. Last time we were talking about protection, danger. That world is in danger at every step. Definitely. So in text 2, <clears throat> the sloka, Kansen Purahita Ghora Putana Balaghatini while Nanda Maharaj was returning to Gokula, the same fears Utna whom Kansa had previously engaged to kill babies was wandering about in the towns, cities and villages during her nefarious duty. <laughs> you see, even Putna was a lady, and it is said that the heart of lady is a, has a softest value. But here, the sister of uh, Kamsa, this Putna. So it is not like that. She is lady and she, because she is adoring the nature of demonic values. She has demonic associates. So even being a lady, a woman, she becomes so cruel. She doesn't have any hesitation to kill babies. And generally it is for any woman, the baby is a very... <laughs> i never seen that any woman who saw a baby doesn't become happy. It is the nature of a female nature. But here... This lady Putna has different nature because the demoniac association, demoniac food, demoniac lifestyle. Anyone can be become demoniac. So we need to be very careful what we are eating or we are behaving what we are thinking, what we are watching, how we are talking, to whom we are relating ourselves. So all total of these five things to keep away, to become, to make our nature like Putna. Netra Saravana Dini Rakshok Ghani Sokarmasu Kurvanti Satvatam Bhartur Yad Tu Dhanyashtatrihi this is text 3. Translation. My dear king, wherever people in any position perform their occupational duties of devotional service, by chanting and hearing Sarvanam Kirtanam Vishnu, there cannot be any danger from bad elements. Therefore, there was no need for anxiety about Gokula while the Supreme Personality of Godhead was personally present. The two fortune together, the presence of Supreme Personality and this occupation, uh, occupational duty, devotional service, Beside their occupational duties, balance of devotional service is there. Chanting and hearing is there. So this is very clear. Srimad Bhagavatam is saying, chanting and hearing the holy names, 
हरिकथा है माधुरी कथा स्वीट पास टाइम्स डिवाइन लव मोमेंट्स शेयरिंग युगला प्रीतिज हाउ दे वेयर रीडिंग द नाइस स्वीट स्क्रिप्चर्स of this yogala past times if all these things continuing is running in a devotee life there is no zen danger and there is no anxiety doesn't matter how bad elements means even the thinking will not come here means personally someone is coming it is not like that within our self our swabhav our nature as per the human nature also while doing many things this mind runs at many ways think many unnecessary ideas while doing chanting even but chanting also should be gurudev always saying the meditation chanting and meditation should be together then this danger is away chanting with hand and mouth but the mind is running somewhere it is not fixed on the lotus feet of ishtadev then something you are doing but the result of this some something will be not fruitful just like something running in a machine that's it this will not work for shrimad bhagavatam is saying this for our beneficiary that no more danger no more anxiety and while chanting also we are listening kirtan we are chanting this is kirtan and sarvanam at the same time the name also we are listening but even these two things also the mind is so powerful that runs here and there but we no need to be very much worry because it is said that by practicing 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 if you are chanting the chanting will will pull your mind again at the same place it doesn't mean one is doing i listen i heard that many sadhus are saying don't give up chanting let the mind go but this chanting will bring mind this back at the same place but don't is don't become disappointed don't become passive and give up oh i cannot do no the utsaha encouragement from inside should not be less my mind is going no problem let the mind go but i will not stop chanting this is also one of the way of practice to make you continuous practice all these type of things will bring you more and more inside bhajan and one day that day will come then you will have a nishtha on this name all this happens because we don't have nishtha on name vishwas faith a strong faith is not there in the name that's why it happens actually when it will happen one day we no need to give up it's not like not happening that we will give up the japa in the side i cannot do i am doing and my mind is going here and then what should i why i should do no 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 if you will stop this then no progress chances are there progress will happen like this one day will come that your mind will be fixed more and more more and more more and more this mantra maha mantra has so much power mahaprabhu has given that it will bring your mind back at the same place and one day will not let mind go anywhere but if we are not practicing someone will not do for us we have to do and by this practice we will reach somewhere by the mercy of our spiritual master that yesterday gurudev was saying succession 
higher end successes are there like something you got in your property from your parents your grandparents so you are the higher successor of this family so in spiritual world our successor is our gurudev purport sukhdev ko swami spoke this words to mitigate the anxiety of maharaj parikshit maharaj parikshit was a devotee of krishna and therefore when he understood that putana was causing disturbances in gokula he was somewhat perturbed sukadeva goswami therefore assured him that there was no danger in gokula srila bhakti vinod thakur has sung namashraya kari yatan tumi thakaha apana kaje namashraya kari yatan tumi by the practicing taking shelter of your name thakaha apana kaje continue your work what you whatever you are doing don't stop that if you took the shelter of this holy name continue with your all your jobs but don't forget this holy name everyone is thus advised to seek shelter in the chanting of the hare krishna maha mantra and remain engaged in his own occupational duty doesn't matter what you are doing in this material just live in this material world to keep your body but name should not stop there is no loss in this and the gain is tremendous loss is not there and the gain and the gain is extraordinary beyond our thinking even from a material point of view everyone should take to chanting the hare krishna mantra to be saved from all kinds of danger not only bringing our mind back this is also one of the danger if, if my our mind is running here and there but a part of this other dangers dangerous things will also not, not will not come to us this world is full of danger padam padam yad vipadam every step there is danger therefore we should be encouraged to chant the hare krishna maha mantra so that in our family society neighborhood and nation everything will be smooth and free from danger sometime be shy my god how what people will think no let the people think what they are thinking these words this chanting are not that simply words only these words are empowered by divine div- divinity so these words are not simple words and the meaning of these words not only for yourself ourselves this maha mantra is universal well wisher sometime i feel that many people are not taking very seriously this maha mantra many i think maybe i am wrong sometime i felt that many people are not taking very serious but this is not like that shrimad bhagavatam is saying prabhupad is saying text 4 sakhe charye kadotpatya putana nand gokulam 
योषित्वा मायायात्मान प्राविशत काम चारणी वंस पोने टाइम पूतना राक्षसी हु कुड मूव अकॉर्डिंग टू हर डिजायर एंड वॉज वॉन्डरिंग इन आउटर स्पेस कन्वर्टेड हर सेल्फ बाय मिस्टिक पावर इन इन टू ए वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वुमेन एंड दस एंटर्ड गोकुला द अबोर्ड ऑफ नंद महाराज देर टाइम दैट टाइम वी कैन सी द ब्यूटी पार्लर वॉज देयर बट वी डोंट नो एक्जैक्टली इन विच ब्यूटी पार्लर सी वेंट एंड शी डेकोरेटेड वेरी नाइसली टू हर्स इवन she was demon but after many demon go in the beauty parlor and they come out like a very gentle man in kalyuga also beauty parlors are available anyone can go like putna and come out like any anyway, ma'am joke <laughs> purport Rakshasis learn mystic powers because this Rakshasis had mystic power by which they can travel in outer space without machines. It was there before, like with the help of yantra and tantra and mantra. In some parts of India, there are still such mystical witches available. No need to worry. who can sit on a stick and can use it to fly from one place to another in a very short time so in the shark tradition there are so many 64 different places in india that is empowered with the energy of this mystical goddesses Thus, Mahavidya and different, different many are there. I don't remember it before I was reading ten, fifteen, fifteen years before, twenty years before. But all after coming Vrindavan, I lost all name and everything. I remember whatever is related with this Vaishnava. All I forgot and really. This art was known to Putna. She was expert in this art. assuming the feature of a very beautiful woman to turn herself from a rakshasi to a very beautiful woman assuming the feature of a very beautiful woman she entered nand maharaj abode gokula that much power and no one could recognize her that who she is ताम केश बंद वैसी शक्त मल्लिकाम ताम केश बंद वैति शक्त मल्लिकाम बृहनीतम मनस्तन कृक्षम मध्यमा सुबास संकल्पित कर्ण भूषण सत्कुंडल मंडितान नाम वलगुष्मिता पांग विसर्ग वीक्षित मनोहरंतिम मनिताम बज्रोक साम अमन सताम भोज करेन रूपिणी गोप्य श्रियम दृष्टु मिवागताम पतिम नाउ हियर द ग्लोरी ऑफ हर ब्यूटी हाउ शी वॉज लुकिंग हाउ हर कंप्लीट हाउ शी वुड बिकम चेंज हर सेल्फ सो ब्यूटिफुली एवरी कॉर्नर हर हिप्स वेयर फुल her breasts were large and firm seeming to overburden her slim waist she was just dressed very nicely her hair adorned with a garland of mallika flowers was scattered about her beautiful face her earrings were brilliant and as she smiled very attractively glancing upon everyone her beauty drew the attentions of all the inhabitants of braja especially the men when the gopis saw her they thought that the beautiful goddess of fortune holding a lotus flower in her hand had come to see her husband 
Krishna. All considered the goddess of fortune. She came. Lakshmi came to see her husband. So we are also many times surprised with the hidden nature under this beauty that is really Putana is doing here. That why it is said the outer appearance means outer beauty is nothing. Behind this beauty, anything can be there. But that's why we need to understand what is real beauty? What is the meaning of real beauty? Bal Graha Satras Vichinavati Shishun Yadrichaya Nand Grihe Sand Dantkam Balam Pratichan Nijoru Tejasam Dadars Talpe Agni Miva Hitam Basi. While searching for small children, Putana, whose business was to kill them, entered the house of Nanda Maharaj unobstructed. Nobody stopped her. Having seen sent by the superior potency of the Lord, so she is Devi. Without asking anyone's permission, she entered Nand Maharaj's room. How much people were enchanted by her looking, we can understand over here. Where she saw the child sleeping in bed, his unlimited power covered like a powerful fire, covered by ashes. When she covered with the ashes, what the fire inside her, with the purpose she came in Nanda Maharaj's house. She could understand that this child was not ordinary. Wow. She was smart enough. Quickly she recognized this child is not an ordinary child, but was meant to kill all demons. And this child will kill all the demons. He came to kill all the demons also. It's not ordinary. So they recognize quickly. Papa, demons are always busy creating disturbances and killing. But the child lying on the bed in the house of Nanda Maharaj was meant to kill many demons. His purpose was his second purpose was there. That this time I will kill almost all demon. Pibudhyatam balak marika graham chara charatmasa nimi litekshanaha anantamaro payadank mantakam yathoragam suptam buddhi rajudhi. Lord Sri Krishna, he all pervading super soul, lying on the bed understood that Putana, a witch who was expert in killing small children, had come to kill him. Therefore, as if afraid of her, Krishna closed his eyes. Thus Putana took upon her lap him who was to be her own annihilation. She was so much in that much doing her duty. This so one word came, which duty?
nefarious duty. She was so much in this nefarious duty. So she couldn't recognize. She took Krishna in her lap. Was the cause of her annihilation. Huh? Just as an unintelligent person places a sleeping snake on his lap. Completely unconscious that this poisonous snake anytime can bite and finish. She done the same. Thinking the snake to be a rope. Just considering this poisonous snake that this is a simple ordinary rope and take on the chest and then the snake bite and flesh. In this verse, there are two perplexities. When Krishna saw the Putana had come to kill him, he thought that since this woman was present with motherly affection because there was a there was poison on her breast she put already to kill Krishna although artificial he had to offer her a benediction therefore he looked at her with a little perplexity and then closed his eyes again Because Putana has this motherly affection. Though it was artificial, but he wanted to give a benediction. So thus he looked at her eyes with a little perplexity and then closed his eyes again. Putana Rakshasi also was perplexed. She was not intelligent enough to understand that she was taking a sleeping snake on her lap. She thought the snake to be an ordinary rope. The two words Antakam and Anantam. are contradictory because of not being intelligent Putana thought that she could kill her Antakam she thought that this baby is, has appeared to kill so better to kill this baby she could kill her Antakam the source of her annihilation but because he is Ananta, unlimited, no one can kill him. She wanted the Ant of Anantam. That is not possible. Who can do the Ant of Anant unlimited? So here she was little foolish. Tam Tikshan Chittamati Vam Cheshtitam Bhikshantara Kos Parikshada Bhikshyantara kosh parikchada sivat varistriyam tat prabhayacha gharshite nirikshamane janani hirtachitam Putana Rakshasi's heart was fierce and cruel but she looked like a very affectionate mother thus she resembled a sharp sword in a soft seat her appearance was a soft seat, but inside her heart, she was covering this sharp sword. It was this was invisible. Although seeing her within the room, Yashoda and Rohini overwhelmed by her beauty, because they were looking at her beauty only. And that time. Krishna let, this, let them enjoy their beauty. 
he didn't give them this power that they could understand because he was present he should give this power them that oh you recognize who is coming behind this beautiful face but nobody what could, could understand this krishna covered with the yoga maya they were busy to look her beauty only that she resembled a sharp sword in a although seeing her within the room yashoda and roini overwhelmed by her beauty did not stop her surprise but remained silent because she treated the child like a mother who will stop when you know mother yashoda and roini these transcendental associates of sri krishna were failed to recognize putana what about us <laughs> in our daily life so just because of the help of almighty because of the mercy we are taking shelter of the lotus feet he is able to save her we cannot do we cannot understand many things impossible surrender taking shelter is mercy her mercy radha rani mercy is our protection proper although putna was an outsider she came from outside nobody was knowing and although she personified fears death because the determination within her heart was to kill the child when she directly came and placed the child on her lap to offer the child her breast to suck the mothers were so captivated by her beauty that they did not prohibit her nobody stopped her she started doing like this even nobody stopped her surprise sometimes a beautiful woman is dangerous because everyone being captivated by external beauty prabhupada is saying now maya mohita is unable to understand what is in her mind those who are captivated by the beauty of the external energy are called maya mohita enchanted by illusion मोहितम ना भी जानाती माम एभ्य परम अव्यय नाते विधु स्वर्था गति हे विष्णु दुरसया ये बहिर अर्था मानि न here of course the two mothers rohin rohini and yashoda were not maya mohita their eyes were not closed deluded by the external energy but the develop the past time of the lord but to develop the past time of the lord they were captivated by yoga maya otherwise performing in the leela there will be a disturbance here it is needed to perform this leela utna ghatan if they knowing and they stop then the leela vistar will be the expansion of leela will be not there leela will stop here so everything is happening yoga maya covered such maya moha is the action of yoga maya we can say these yashoda and rohini were enchanted by maya but which maya not by maha maya by yoga maya who's helping 
to perform this leela all the leelas to to go to further next leela one after another tasmin astanam durjar virya mulvanam gorank madaya shishor dadavat gadam karabhyam bhagwan prapidya tat prane samam ros saman saman vito pibat ah now on that very spot the fiercely dangerous rakshasi took krishna on her lap and pushed her breast into his mouth the nipple of her breast was smeared with a dangerous immediately effective poison but the supreme personality of godhead krishna becoming very angry at her took hold of her breast squeezed it very hard with both hands and sucked out both the poison of her life krishna made her free from all her poison not only that poison what she put on her breast to to come to kill krishna krishna thought that so it's not this little bit poison is there not for me inside you there is lot of poison i need to take out this poison then you will be free otherwise i because you can see putting your breast in my mouth you became my mother and now after becoming my mother it is my duty to give something for your benediction to give you some position taking out of all this poison that first he took out all the poison he didn't directly send her to matri loka no krishna thought that how she can become my mother with this poisonous attitude inside what is filled inside her demonic nature what she is stored inside her no with this demonic nature with the poison a poison of all this demonic activities demonic thinking demonic behavior she cannot go to Mat matri loka she cannot become my mother first i have to take out all the poison even the prana is mixed with the poison her prana is mixed with the poison so better to take this prana out until she will not leave this poisonous body with all different kind of poison inside her she will be not qualified to become my mother so first he took out all this poison this is the mercy of krishna this is the mercy of radha rani <laughs> radha rani also wants to take out all poison from her heart in her style her style is different from krishna's style there with her enchanted beauty her kripa kataksh she wants to take out that you don't have any chance to look here there up down back front no just by her grand she want to steal she want to take out all of your this poison that you must not have any chance not no chance to store further any more poison and whatever is there it should out so this happens because of radha but the supreme personality of godhead krishna becoming very anger at her took hold of her breast squeezed it very hard with both hands and sucked out both the poison of her life both the poison and her life lord krishna was not angry at putna for his own sake he no need putna was very ordinary 
just by thinking putna could be finished but this will not give the beauty of leela to maintain the beauty of leela he did like this rather he was angry because the rakshasis had killed so many small children in braja therefore he decided that she should be punished by having to forfeit her life samunch munchal miti pravashini nispide mana khil jeev marmani vibritti nitre charno bhuja muhu prasunn gatra chhipati rurodha unbearly pressed in very vital point the demon putna began to cry leave me please leave me suck my breast not my prana suck my breast no longer perspiring her eyes wide open and her arms and legs flailing she cried very loudly again and again yeah when the pranas goes out of this body it's very painful the rakshasis purport the rakshasis was severely punished by krishna she threw her arms and legs about and krishna also began to kick her with his legs to punish her properly for her mischievous activities tasya swanenati veer tasya swanenati gabhir ran ran hasa sadrir mahi dhaksha chachal sagraha rasa disasya prati nedire jana petu kshito varas nipat shankaya as putna screamed loudly and forcefully the earth with its mountains and outer space with its planets trembled thus he had a very huge body the lower the lower planets and all directions vibrated and people fell down fearing that thunderbolts were falling upon them shrila vishwanath chakravarti thakur remarks that in this verse the words rasa refers to the planetary system below the earth such as rasatala atala vitala sutala and talatala nisa charitham bati tastanavaisu varyadaya ke sansharano bujavapi prasarya goshte nij rup mastita vajrahato vrit iva patan nirpa in this way the demon putana very much aggrieved because her breast was being attacked by krishna lost her life o king parikshit sukhdev goswami saying opening her mouth wide and spreading her arms legs and hair she fell down in the pasturing ground in her original form as a rakshasi as vritasura had fallen when killed by the thunderbolt of indra purport putna was a great rakshasi who knew the art of covering her original form by mystic power but when she was killed her mystic power could not hide her nice thing said over here mystic power gave her a beautiful form 
mystic power can give us a beautiful form but could not hide our original form patmanopi tadeh stri gabyut atyant druman churn yamas rajendra mahadasit tadbhutam o king parikshit when the gigantic body of putna fell to the ground it is smashed all the trees within a limit of 12 miles her body was so big not one or two miles 12 miles miles appearing in a gigantic body she was certainly extraordinary because of the grievous hurt imposed upon her by krishna sucking her breast putana while dying not only left the room but abandoned the village and fell down in the pasturing ground in her gigantic body means there were a farming land and she fell down on that she came to destroy and when she left the body also she destructed something so the maniac nature cannot give any goodness ओकिंग परीक्षित गिरीकंद्रनाशक गंडशैलस्तन रौद्रम प्रकिरणारूण मूर्धज अंधकूप गभीराक्ष नारो भीषण बद्ध सेतुर्भुजोर भंग्री शून्य शून्य हृदोदम सन्त्रस्तु उंटेन and her breast resembled big slabs of stones fallen from a hill her scattered hair was the color of copper the sockets of her eyes appeared like deep blind wells her fearful thighs resembles the banks of a river her arms legs and feet seemed like big bridges and her abdomen appeared like dried up lake the hearts ears and heads of the cowherd men and women were already shocked by the rakshasis screaming and the when they saw the fierce wonder of her body they were even more frightened brajwasis were soft kind hearted people after looking all these things they were totally frightened balam cha tasya ursi kridant balasya tasya ursi kridant makuto bhayam gopya stunam samabhetya jagri hurjat sambrama without fear the child krishna was playing on the upper portion of putna's rakshas's breast still he was playing on the breast of putna even after her death and when the gopi saw the child's wonderful activities they immediately come forward with great jubilation and picked him up here is the supreme personality of god god head krishna the purport now i am reading 
the rakshasi's putna could increase or decrease her bodily size by her mystic abilities and thus gain proportionate power supreme personality of godhead is equally powerful in any transcendental form krishna is a real personality of godhead whether as a child or as a grown up young man he is the same person doesn't matter krishna is krishna with his potential energy and power he does not need to become powerful by meditation or any other external endeavor uh, no need <laughs> therefore when the greatly powerful putna expanded her body krishna remained the same small child and fearlessly played on the upper portion of her breast krishna was knowing i no need to do anything i can do become being any small in my size i can do many things this is i no need to play any drama like her she played god has no need to play any drama it just do the some leela to please the devotees only killing putna is just thinking by thing his thinking putna would be killed but in the bal leela the leela as a infant what he did he came to perform so that's why he need to do all these things sadashwarya purna bhagwan the supreme personality of godhead is always full in all potencies regardless of whether he is present in this form or that his potencies are always full parasya shaktir vividhaiva shruyate he can display all potencies under any circumstances circumstances yashodarohini bhyam tam samavalasya sarvata taksham bi dadire samyago puruksh brahmana divihi thereafter mother yashoda and rohini along with the other elderly gopis waved about the switch of a cow to give full protection to the child shri krishna when krishna was saved from such a great danger now purport when krishna was saved from such a great danger mother yashoda and rohini were principally concerned and the other elderly gopis who were almost equally concerned followed the activities of mother yashoda and roini here we find that in household affairs ladies could take charge of protecting a child simply by taking help from the calf because this is what the matter of the belief that all shakti power is there in the cow that time people were knowing all these things as described here they knew how to wave out the switch of a cow so as to protect the child from all types of danger the tail tail of a cow
there are so many facilities afforded by cow protection but people have forgotten these arts the with the tail of cow some protections are also there the the importance of protecting cow is therefore it's stressed by krishna in bhagavad gita krishi go raksha vanijikam vaishya karma swabhavanam even now in the indian villages surrounding brindavana the villagers live happily simply by giving protection to the cow it's very important important there is low lot of potential energy inside the cow if we consider the simply ordinary animal it is not good for cow one time it is said you have if you have pressure blood pressure just put your hand on the back of your back of the cow and just pat or just do like this on the back of the cow your this uh, blood pressure will go automatically they keep cow dung very carefully and dry it to use as fuel even today the village that people they are people making cow dung cakes to use as fuel they cook they keep a sufficient stock of grains and because of giving protection to the cows they have sufficient milk and milk product to solve all economic problems because this was the job jobs of gopis braj gopis or the brajwasi were living their life on it they have sufficient milk and milk product to solve all the economic problems simply by giving protection to the cows the villagers live so peacefully even the urine and stool of cows have medicinal value for some people it is very hard to believe of this how can we a uh, simply urine of some one animal or the poop poo of simply one animal like others can be medicinal useful but by the different experiments different in, invention it is proven the power of cow urine and cow dung go mutrain snapitva पुनर्गो रजसाभक रक्षा चक्रुश्च सकृता द्वादचांगेशु नाम द चाइल्ड वॉज ट्रूली वॉज विथ काव यूरीन कृष्णा टुक स्नान विथ काव यूरीन एंड देन स्मियर्ड विद दस्ट रेस्ड बाय द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द काव एंड दे टुक द दस्ट अंडर द फीट ऑफ द काव एंड दे पुट ऑन हर ऑन हिम then different names of the lord were applied with the cow dung and 12 different parts of his body taking the cow dung in the hand mother yashoda and rohini they chanted the different names of lord touching this cow dung a different 12 parts of the body of krishna like we put our dwadash tilaka before sitting chanting our gayatri beginning with the forehead as done in applying tilaka in this way in this way the child was given protection krishna given protection by their by his mothers like this but today if you say some boy or girl 
You like to take bath with the cow urine. Those really in the parampara or the tradition of Vaishnavism, they will not hesitate. But generally, people will hesitate and they will close their nose. Ah. <laughs> Modern. Gopiyasan salila ange shukariyo pratak nasyat manmat balasya vijanyas vijanyasam kurvat the gopis first executed the process of atmana drinking a sip of water from the right hand they purified their bodies and hands with the nyas mantra and then applied the same mantra upon the body of the child om pavitra pavitra vasra vasthan gato piva bhaya bantar suchi pundrikaaksha punato pundrikaaksha punato pundrikaaksha punato this is the mantra to purify without going near to any holy river just taking little water in the hand and then sprinkle by chanting this name the all different river asnan is done nyas mantra includes achamana when we do achana man nyas mantra is there on first drinking a sip of water kept in the right hand there are different vishnu mantras to purify the body here i will not say will come in later maybe the madhavaya namaha keshavaya namaha rishikeshaya namaha govindaya namaha narayana namaha these are the mantras are the time of achamana the gopis there are different vishnu mantras to purify the body the gopis and in fact any householders knew the process for being purified by chanting vedic hymns there are different vishnu mantras to purify the body the gopis and in fact any householders knew the process of being purified by chanting vedic hymns that time nowadays this is doubtful that how many people are knowing this type of chanting the gopis executed this process first to purify themselves and then to purify the child krishna one executes the process of anganyasa and karanyasa simply by drinking a little sip of water and chanting the mantra and karanyasa simply by drinking a little sip of water and chanting the mantra the mantra is preceded with the first letter of the name followed by anuswara and the word nama am namo jastavan grih avyat mam mano mani mams tavajanoni avyat and so execute danganyasa and are simply busy in sense gratification without any advanced knowledge of human civilization so we are so materialistic become materialistic ourselves but only busy in sense gratification and forgotten the what is essential or beneficial for humans human civilization i think the watch is saying something so i completed the text 21 next time next sunday we will move for move for the text 22 to 23 so if any question anything you would like to ask radhe radhe
Can you hear me? But your voice is not coming. Yes, we can hear you. Wow, super. Ah, Uddhava Ji, Radhe Radhe Dandavar. Dandavar Dayanidhi Ji. Radhe Radhe. Dandavar to all. Mangala Arati Ji, Dandavar. Manjari Bhava Ji, Dandavar. Praj Bilasani Ji, Dandavar. Kevala Bhakti Ji, Dandavar Pranam. Dava Das Ji Dandavar, Sundaram Ji Dandavar, Prata Gopinath Ji Dandavar, Kishori Ji Dandavar. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. Anything that I can, I'm not qualified, so even I just ask if I can say something. If you have some questions. Radhe Radhe. Radhe. Danda Baba. Thank you so much, Danda Baba. Danda Baba. Eh, I would like to ask, but I don't know the English word, so what to do? <laughs> Should we? <it be? laughs> yeah, ask. I, yeah, because uh, uh, five years ago, five, six years ago, I was drinking the yeah. cow uh, medicine, cow pee pee okay. medicine. <laughs> yeah. With, with Muridula Babi. And, <laughs> and at the moment, uh, I was uh, thinking uh, just uh, this is uh, very good for health. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, it's. Uh, a I lot didn't of medicine. Think, uh, wow, my God, how the pee pee <laughs> like this. I never. Mm. Yeah, it's a very a little. Uh, but uh, this is a uh, really. Uh, no, I didn't think this is no. Um, I cannot drink. No, just uh, oh, this is good. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, mm, I just drink. Uh, this is a good thing, but. Uh, uh, and now, uh, really, from your uh, harikata, I saw that this is a very, 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 very big mass from uh, Krishna. Yeah, it's, it's helping. Mm. And, uh, because this is not new. This is uh, very old. You are right. Mm. And, some, um, and uh, sometimes I was thinking, uh, to mm, it's not good to eat meat of cow or some animals. Yeah. But uh, this this medicine and the milk is good for us. Yeah, it works, but um, people have less patience because it works because. It, it will not work like that uh, allopathic medicine. Some things are there in these two things. It works uh, slowly. So it is difficult for mm -hmm. them, those do, who don't have very strong belief or have patience. Means uh, <laughs> bodily consciousness is so mm -hmm. high sometimes. So the belief and the trusting on these type of things is, uh, is impossible. You understand? It's, it's quite impossible that we want very fast. Mm. Things should be fast. But definitely the cow dung and cow urine, it works not like that allopathic medicine. It works slowly. Like the homeopathic medicine also works slowly and also depends on the, of the stage of your disease, kind of a disease. 
kind of disease and the, on which stage of the disease. So I don't think at every stage of the disease, the cow urine is possible. Somehow, if in the beginning we know what type of things are, we have, what kind of disease we have, at the first stage, if we are able to catch this type of disease, then possibly the Ayurveda can help us. Naturopathy can help us. This cow urine, cow things can help us. Cow ghee can help us. But if it is little late, I am not sure. I don't know that what experts are can say. Maybe I am not knowing. And so it is not appropriate to say anything. But yeah, in the in the beginning, uh, in the beginning of something, if you have, and you mm -hmm. you recognize this disease, so this is helpful. Otherwise, if stages are high in some kind of uh, disease or the sickness, then in this modern type of uh, polluted world. It seems this is difficult because whatever we are consuming is partially polluted. In the name of our organic, how, how much it is organic and how much an or organic is not possible for everyone because of the high price. It's expensive. It's out of reach of each and every common person. Got it? So it is like this. The organic things are not easily available or not are easily purchasable by each and everyone. Means out of 100 people, how many can buy the organic things? And what is the, how, how much the organic things are grown? How much? It cannot fulfill the demands of all billions of people. We are eating, we are consuming polluted things. Air, water, everything. We are surrounded by the pollution. And so we have the competition. We cannot deny the allopathic medicine completely. We cannot deny the different medicines completely. We cannot deny the surgeries or a process of many different kinds of medicinal things completely. We, we need to surrender at, at many places. We need to surrender. Sometimes <laughs> it, is, it is good. But as much I know that in the beginning a stage of any kind of disease, cow urine and these things can be helpful. But if something happens very intense, you reach at the point of somewhere, then it is, it is not, I think, Will will work like very fast? No, not possible. As per my knowledge, expert can say many other things also. If I am right, I I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I can be wrong also. Maybe possible that even in the final stage, the cow urine can work. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Giving a chance to do this seva. And accepting me, it's a very big thing for me. I am nothing but you people are accepting. Uh, I can read for you. I am obliged. I am, uh, I am thinking that myself that I am fortunate. I am getting this mercy that sharing and talking this uh, past times, sitting in front of you, reading all these things, making myself useful a little bit actually i am a useless person <laughs> by your mercy i become a little useful by all these processes doing arti or the doing something something singing so i am grateful to all of you that giving me chance to do all these things with this uh, visualization of using the modern technique <laughs> through Zoom. Thank you very much.